Unlimited is a commissions programme supporting the work of disabled artists. It's created by Arts Admin and Shape. It's funded by Arts Council England and Creative Scotland. We've got a range of fantastic partners all working together to make Unlimited happen. It's a three-year programme to really handhold artists, to help those who've got great established pieces of work, to get them more profile, hopefully more press attention, to have an impact within mainstream art. With Unlimited, we really wanted to put the call out as widely as possible. And I think because Shape and Arts Admin have been involved, we got a much greater response than Unlimited when it happened in 2012. There was such excitement in London about the Paralympic Games and that excitement transferred to the artists of Unlimited. It's a fabulous opportunity and I'm glad it's happening again. So today it's been the selection panel which has been six months in the lead-in. We've been looking at 110 applications and the shortlist, trying to make sure that there's a good balance of high quality work, work that's going to be exciting when it's presented in London in September at the South Bank Centre. It was pretty tough. I have to say it was a full day of very, very important and robust debate. I think we came to some good decisions. But it wasn't easy by any stretch because we were presented with so many great projects. So within the supported works, we're really looking for work that's ready to go from September and we have some fantastic work to share with you. So there's an incredible spread of work from visual arts to spoken word, performance. Outdoor work, theatre, dance. There's some very, very strong and, and powerful pieces of work and some very respected and well-known artists in there. All the artists have got brilliant track records of what they've been doing. This puts them into a national platform, which I think will be very, very exciting for them. From a British Council point of view, it's a great opportunity for British artists to have those opportunities in an international arena. It's been a joy to also fund a number of uh, research and development projects for maybe artists that we haven't seen before. We were looking for ideas and concepts that really excited us. And I know the panel got very, very excited about the field of R&Ds that we had. There's some very edgy, interesting things coming forward. I quite like things which push the boundaries. We have work that is for family audience and we have work that I won't let my family go and see. I think the, the way disabled and deaf artists make work is incredibly different and challenging for people because we're, we're breaking through a social ethic that most people haven't really thought about. Work by disabled artists has been around for years actually but I don't think it's had the level of investment or the level of support that it needed. And this is perhaps its time. As a disabled artist who feels quite connected to the disability community, it was a joy to see new names, new artists that I wasn't aware of. It will just give people the opportunity to see the great work, the great ideas, and the great creativity coming out of British artists. So what next? What do these commissions mean to you? What do the R&Ds mean to you? We're really interested in people still getting in touch with us, aligning with us, becoming our allies and helping us take this work out further. So if anything you've seen really excites you, interests you, you're curious about, you're intrigued by, contact us. We really want your help to help us spread Unlimited. We want to be Unlimited.